Hub B, what's going on? Hope you and the hubs are doing well. Hope you have 99 problems, but money ain't one. I don't actually hope you have 99 problems. For the purpose of this video, I do speak English as a part. You know, people give me grief because of my hustle. You need to be home for it, man. Your family. Man, my, my kids and I are going to work it out. I was always the hunter, the provider, the gatherer. That was my role. I wasn't their best friend. Their mother was. There's nothing they're going to remember about me that's going to be bad about how I hustle. I'm not looking Poor signal quality up here a mile high. 99 problems, but money ain't one. How is that possible in CDL 18 wheel big rig truck driving to not have money as a problem? How is that possible? You gotta find your, you gotta find your groove. You gotta find your rhythm. Find what works for you. Maybe you want to be home every night. Maybe you want to make 50, 60, 70,000 a year. There's no shame in that. Maybe you want to make 25, 3,500 a week. No shame in that. I am doing what I've always done. I hustle. When I was enlisted in the military, I worked the second job. Always did. After I was allowed to. I think for the first six months or a year, you weren't allowed to. And then I worked the second job. I've always hustled. I've always worked this kind of a schedule, and I've always made really good money after I left the, gov the government. The government. The government was nice and secure, but that fence line for me is not where I find my strength. That fence line of comfortability is not where I find my strength. 99 problems, but money ain't one. CDL 18 wheel big rig truck driving, CDL oil field crude oil hauling, condensate hauling, frac sand hauling got to find out what you want to do man I have never been a, a nine to five worker ever 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 I've always hustled to make my money I had to pay for my own car growing up my own insurance my own fuel my own fuel my own gas everything was on me mommy and daddy didn't didn't stroke me a check for a jack I, I take that back. My mother did give me, I think, four or six hundred bucks for one of my last classes in college. When I was going to the, to the officer ranks, I had one more semester. I think she did front me four or six hundred dollars. Mom, I still owe you. Don't look at the camera. But I do promise you, if you come out here and you find your hustle, and you decide you want to put your nose down, you can make money. You can make money. There's different ways to make it out here. 99 problems, but Money ain't one. And it's very, if you get in a rhythm too, it's very easy not to spend money other than on food. A little bit more expensive up here a mile high to eat. A little bit more expensive. But other than food, I don't I don't spend money on jack. But I wanted to pop in. I don't know where your strength comes from. I just know for me, I've always worked this way. I've always hustled this way. I've always been the hunter, the hunterer, the hunter, the gatherer, the protector. It's always been my job. And it's a, it's a role I feel very well, very well. I didn't rely on anybody else to make our money with our kids growing up. It was on me to give them the lifestyle they had up until 08 to 12. And they all had good lifestyles. So you gotta just decide what you wanna do, man. There's so much noise online, there's so much noise. I'm amazed at how many people listen to the wrong people. I've said this a million times. But again, it might be the right person for you. Maybe you're comfortable being mediocre. Maybe you're comfortable being average. Maybe you're comfortable, you know, being around somebody whose whole life purpose is to be a troll online. Maybe you're comfortable. I'm not. I'm not. I don't have those people in my circle. I don't have those people in my influence. I don't have those people in my ear, in my head, in my heart, in my in my presence. Ever. Ever. I don't do real well around beta men. I don't, I don't do real well around beta men. I tend to piss them off just by being me. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I don't ask permission. And I occasionally ask forgiveness, but not from people that attack first. 
not for people to attack first. I forgive you. I forgive you for being small, petty-minded, evil. I forgive you. But I don't ever ask for forgiveness for people like that. Not unless you've asked forgiveness for the first punch you threw verbally, psychologically, manipulatively, whatever you did. It doesn't bother me. I'm still up here with 99 problems. I don't really have any problems. I got no problems. My problems are I'm very healthy. I actually enjoy CDL 18 wheel big rig truck driving. I enjoy the oil fields. I enjoy crude oil. I enjoy tank up. Can I get an amen for the tank up? Put amen in the comments. Amen. Or just put yeah. Amen or yeah. Either one is kind of synonymous. I enjoy tanker. I enjoy tanker a lot. A lot. And I am busting this wide open. I am busting this wide open. I'm looking at every nook and crevice and cranny to see how they operate on Taka for owner operator. These boys get paid. Get paid a little bit more work. Quite a bit more work. I'd say it's pretty close to being a flatbed driver. Pretty close, but I'm not sure because I've never driven flatbed. But pretty close. I'm about to lose cell signal. I just wanted to pop on, give you proof of life, baby. Werewolf trucker is hauling and howling, hauling and howling. And I might have 99 problems, but I don't. But if I did, money ain't one. Red Viking trucker, werewolf trucker, we are getting back to our tanker lifestyle. Our tanker lifestyle. Timothy Coffee, if you're watching this, send me an email, sir. I need a different logo. Timothy Coffee, if you are watching this, send me an email, sir. I need a different logo. I'm going to alter up the hauling and howling logo. You do a great job. I want to use you again. You guys get on to it. Figure out what works for you and be you. Do you. Do you. Nobody answers for you at the end of your life but you. You do you. You do you. If you're comfortable around being around average people, stay around average people. There's no shame in that. There's no shame in being who you want to be. Just let me be who I am. Who I am. I'm a hustler. And I'm a guy that figures stuff out quickly and I'm a super positive guy. I cannot stand whiners and complainers and bitchers. I cannot stand it. Every day I wake up, I'm glad for one more day for my feet to touch the floor and have one more shot to be the werewolf I'm becoming in 